Well, the video is going viral and making headlines across the nation. A former special ed teacher clings to the hood of a Baltimore County school bus after a bottle was thrown in his car. Well, now 68 year old Laverne Durans faces a number of charges. WJZ's live Rick Ritter speaks with his attorney, telling his side of the story. Rick? Well, Denise, across the country, everyone talking about this video that shows Duran clinging to that moving school bus. His attorney says it's been mortifying for his client. And tonight, for the very first time, we're hearing their side of the story. Like something out of an action movie. Screams of horror echo on a Baltimore County school bus. A 68 year old Laverne Duran clings on, demanding the driver pulls over. Get off the bus! Get off the bus! The drama unfolded last Thursday in Parkville when a bottle was thrown out a bus window at Duran's windshield. He um, stopped the bus and started um, yelling at our bus driver to open up the door. When that didn't work, the bus started to pull away and the 68 year old latched on. Students caught it on video that's now gone viral. Some were crying, some were hiding under seats. A special education teacher for 18 years, Duran is facing a slew of charges from Baltimore County Police. His attorney, Stephen Silverman, on the ordeal. He's actually a, a, a exemplary concerned citizen. Silverman says Duran was in his car with his wife, who's deaf, when that bottle hit his windshield, and that his client is now getting a raw deal based upon the video and all of a sudden uh, he's the poster child for I, I, I guess some kind of road rage. Silverman claims the bus driver revved his engine at Duran and accelerated forward multiple times. Puts his arms up uh, the bus driver a third time comes forward and doesn't stop this time. Mr. Duran, he's either going under the bus or he's going on top of the bus. Silverman says he's trying to fathom why the bus driver continued to ride with Duran on the hood. He believes the average citizen in place of the 68-year-old would have likely followed suit. I don't know if I walked in his shoes, if I would have handled it any differently. Silverman added that his client has no criminal history, has never been arrested before. We did try reaching out to Baltimore County Police for this story. But they declined to do an interview. Denise. All right, thank you very much, Rick. Baltimore County Schools released a statement to WJZ saying they will continue to cooperate with police throughout the investigation and they are thankful no one on the bus was injured.